the allure of them. That's because you don't got your headphones on. If you had headphones, you would This hear is them. why. Oh. This is why. Yeah, but I mean. You why you don't have headphones on? He don't like those headphones. are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but in rooms like we was just at, oh, would it God. break so perfectly? Yes. No, am I lying? Do you wear yes. headphones well, I mean, I on the pod? Huh? Do you no. wear headphones on the pod? No, nah, unless we're freestyling so I can hear the music. Okay. If I'm doing a podcast in a room with people and there's like a nigga sitting here, 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 and I'm like the other day, it was yeah. a person, person, and Lionel, I couldn't hear everybody. I was just, I was freestyling. Yeah. We were talking about this the other day. What do you do when somebody says something to you, but you can't hear them, but you kind of want to stop talking to them? Yo, like, uh huh, for real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh, or in, for a, real or in a club. Yeah, for real. Or in a club, I'd be like, right, right, bro. <laughs> you got right, to say so quick. I said, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, you depressed? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I said, you, you doing all right? I heard about what happened with your mom. <laughs> yeah, she good. Yeah. Remember when uh, Mike was going through that breakup? We was just in the club <laughs> at the spot. That's just all you was say, give me the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Okay, okay. Or when we was talking about when you walking away from somebody and they still talking to you, like they didn't stop their conversation. You got, you got to the fake thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, so yeah, crazy. like, no, and they like, talk, and they be talking loud, and I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm walking away. I don't, I don't like that. If I'm done talking, let me go. Yeah. I don't want to keep talking to you. It's what do you do? Do you say goodbye every single time? Like if it's a big event, family event? It depends. If I say bye, they're going to be like, can I get a ride home? Oh, Most times I'm just going to skate. I'm just not going to say shit because yeah. they're going to be ride home. Yeah. I'm going to say bye to ones who I know got a car. Uh, but I know you got a car, you're going to home, and I ain't going your way, especially if you're going your way, cool. I can drop you off on the way. But if you're the opposite way, yeah. people who don't drive are the ones that don't respect drivers. Like they At feel all. like, Okay, you. It's Preach. twenty minutes away from here. That's nothing for Preach, you to go sister. twenty minutes that way and then another hour your way. What's Literally, fun? you my family. You said <laughs> drivers and non-drivers. Most like not like at least pull at least pull up your Uber app. And pretend, show me that you yeah like at least show me that you at least might. You pretend mean, as if you were going to do it yourself. Then we could play we could play chicken a little bit like you know, like, oh, all right, you know you know I take. I like your white do it face. Like all right. All right, I mean, I'll do yeah. it. I'll sure. take it. Yeah, you. pretend, pretend with me, like yo, like act like you trying to do something. Fake it. That's what. That's what everything. I feel like that's in my entire week. Just learning <laughs> to like, I've been I've been faking a lot of things in my life, and now I'm tired of faking. I feel like oh. when fall hit, I, I don't want to fake no more. Sometimes you can be fake. Sometimes you can act like you got yeah. everything lined up, but then fall hit, you like, you know what? I can go in the house. It's chilly outside. We faking it all for yeah, yeah. I just want to wear a crew neck again. Yeah, I just want to be in the house. I don't. I just. Don't, I'm tired of t-shirts. I just want to wear a, a sweater. Season. I want to wear a crew neck. Yeah. I'm not a t-shirt nigga. Like I don't. I don't it? have cool t-shirts. Yeah, I, I like white tees. And going out, like you can't really white tee every situation no more. Oh no! Like mm-hmm. I used to get just white tee, but like now I feel like I have to put on clothes. I feel like as grown people. You come on a date with me, you got a white t-shirt on. I feel like you're disrespecting me. Yeah. I'm like you're not taking depends, on a date though. seriously. Okay. What's 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 yeah. what's white date? I mean, what's white shirt about though? Was white t-shirt appropriate? Yeah, like a, like a, like oh, a game. When we go to like Sixers if you go to like yeah, we, if we go yeah, no, maybe because we go to like a Sixers game. We I mean, like niggas in there with some money, and you need a white t-shirt on. It's kind of like yeah, come a little bit better. Crazy. Put a logo on the side or something. I don't know if white t-shirts work at all. Nah. I feel like it might work if you go in like errands. Yeah, no, errands yeah, to the gym, yeah, okay. like basic shit, like for yeah, a walk. We're hike. talking about getting the dirty. At yeah, that point. yeah, yeah. But like, I don't feel like you should wear that out on any kind of date with your girl. Like, yeah, it dep- I mean, then what you a gonna cookout. Eat and drop somewhere your t shirt too. Like, it's too many yeah. things that can happen wrong. A cookout. A happen Not even a cookout. You go, you got a plate t-shirt. and you holding your hand because there's no table. No, who got tables at cookouts these days? Yeah. Also, <laughs> her aunts might call you a thug. And they always say, <laughs> "Who is this <laughs> thug you brought to my cookout?" Then they want to fuck you. The bottom, the white t shirt just says a lot. Yeah. Mm-mm, no, but but now it depends. September fifteenth, Friday, yeah. two That's days right. from now. Come on, officially tomorrow. Two days from now, yep. I will be at Work Cafe Live. Um, my first live show ever. They're be I didn't for think you. about they're gonna like, <gasps> Will they be quiet as shit? Like, I be sitting like crickets. Like this. Get up, y'all! Somebody say something. Be like next week. You see, uh, you see, sexy red, and she's like, make some fucking noise, y'all. She was like, ah. <laughs> She was like, why is she screaming like that? She made her own noise. Yeah, she made her own noise. I love her. I'll, I'll do it listen, myself. Because listen. I ain't going to be out there quiet now. That's Chase, a lot of things I'm When we was rapping, Chase used to curse the crowd out if they didn't. Chase cussed everybody out. I'm yeah. not surprised. Chase used to be like, hey, what the fuck surprised. is y'all doing? I'm like, bro, chill. You can't make, <laughs> you can't make a nigga clap for you. What the fuck is y'all doing? I hate people like that, though. Like, I hate. I've seen somebody <laughs> in fucking in live shows. <laughs> Cursing the crowd out. Don't do that. I do, yeah. They I came think to that's see true. you. We don't, don't hate you, though, Chase. We love I you, Chase. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I probably will do it. I would hate myself if I do it. I probably will, though, because in the moment, what do you do? Yeah. You might have to cuss them the fuck out. Get but me. I would look back yeah. like, it's you drawing. Why would you do that? 
Getting yeah. getting aggressive with the crowd is well. We Fair. I don't think you ever talked about the whole Fifty Cent thing. How do you feel about that? I don't know what happened. What do you do? Know? You been, ain't you ain't hear about Fifty Cent throwing a microphone? No, oh, he, fucked her, he fucked her face up. He threw a, he threw a microphone into the crowd because it wasn't working. <gasps> they gave him like a mic that wasn't working. Yeah, he they gave it to him once. It didn't work. He tossed it back. They gave him another mic. That one didn't work. So he threw it into the crowd. Like threw and it. Hit somebody into off to off to the side of the. Thing and it yeah. hit a girl in the head, <gasps> put a dent in her head. No like I, sis it's like is a cut. Rich. They're about to show you. Sis is look rich. At that, look at that <gasps> hole. Like it's a oh hole. Oh my He's, gosh! Even if the mic barely touched me, I'd have passed out. I, mean, I would have yeah. acted like I lost she my arm. She would be super rich. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> she's super up though. Like she, she rich up. as shit. She's, she's, That's she's, worth it because people get yeah, fucked up for less. She don't so. got. Hell yeah! She don't have to lift another thing. See nope. the see the, the but the issue is that's why Fifty Cent shouldn't be rapping no more. No, he, he was he, he got enough money shit. to not rap. You know what yeah, I'm just saying? Like, like yeah, why would he do it? Yeah, well, sometimes, just, on to his bills. sometimes I feel like you just get enough money and you bored. Like bored, so you start no, throwing the microphone. No, just talking about rapping. Go fucking rap and throw a mic. I ain't gonna lie. When we get rich, I'm gonna start rapping again. No. <laughs> 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 we, we I'm gonna start friends. rapping. Why do we hard for like no? Cause now, cause now I'm not rapping like my life depends on. We gotta on go it. support you though. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I want y'all to order things again, which is fine. You know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm going. I'm not getting you back on stage. You be live in the studio. If I call you live in the studio, I'm like, oh, live. I'm gonna have a whole studio built with podcast, music, all that. Yeah. I don't know. Like you drop. I'm, I'm gonna have you put a record out. <laughs> yeah. This is insane. Look at the, this, look at the insane. thought. Look at the thought process. He, 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 he said everybody got joy in for the fun. Hop on this chair, yo. We gonna have fun. Listen, y'all. Welcome to Eat Your Heart Out. I'm no. your host, Ish. I'm yes. with Lar and Lionel. They got issues. It's just us tonight. We Hello. trying to work them out. It's just us it's tonight. Us. It's just us. Episode 60. Yeah. Woo. It's a good episode. That's a good number. We getting like, oh. Yeah. 60 mean we getting old. Oh, you yeah. should have been trying to have guests so she don't have to talk to us. It's time to I know. talk to us. Now. I was like, all right, I got to talk to these two tonight. It's just me on camera tonight. Lar and Lionel on the yeah. background. I'm talking yes. their shit like they always do. This yes. is going to be fun. I haven't talked to y'all in a long time. I feel like because Let's I talk. had guests for like the last like month. Yeah, we my soul don't know what's going on in my life anymore. Yeah. It's a good time to jump back into that. Yeah. First, let me say something serious, right? Lately oh. this week, like all my soulies, you know, everybody's listening, probably parents, mothers, fathers, whatever. I feel like I've been a, I've, I'm not like a good mom. You're a great oh, mom. You're I, a I don't great know. Mom. Thank you, Lionel. But you know, sometimes I feel I doubt myself and I hate that about yeah. me. Like, I feel like I'm not doing enough. And my friends be like, yo, you're doing everything. But I feel like you, you are do a doing, lot. You are yeah. quite, quite literally doing everything. Well, sometimes I you do like the that. most, but you do it. You do like every time. I do the most. Like, every time. But you know how like sometimes you go around other people. You ever go around somebody and they doing something you're not doing, you be like, why, why am I doing that? Your parents yeah. Are, yeah. Yeah, and I hate that I do that sometimes. I went to it's my natural, cousin though. house. It's, it's so natural. It's so natural. You can't, it's not even like hate or jealousy. It's just like yeah. what it is. It's natural. I went to my cousin house and they got a huge house in Jersey and they was having like a good, uh, a trunk party for her son going to college and she has like four kids and her son's Jeez. in the kitchen cooking and shit. Oh. Her son was like 11, 12, okay. and one was like 18, of course, 17. And I'm like, what well, my fucking son know how to cook? So I'm a bad mom. <laughs> no, you, my no, son know how to cook. She said, nah, girl, my son's got to know how to cook. But I'm like, I spoil you, he shouldn't be fucking cooking. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now listen, now I got to do work. But I don't think he spoil you. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna uh, screenshot on your phone. Okay. <laughs> so you just know where. Cool. Okay. But yes. I don't think he spoiled you. I think that I think that I didn't have the best parenting, right? And because of that, I felt with some shortcomings, you feel like I don't want to give that to my child. You didn't yeah. have the best parents or parenting? Parenting. Like for you as a parent? Or like for I didn't your have parents? the best parenting. She didn't have the best like parenting. I didn't have. It didn't make any sense. Like your parents? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought you meant parenting. Like you parenting. Yeah, no, no, no. I didn't have the best parenting. Like <laughs> <laughs> you, that, that can go. <laughs> so you, I say. That can go either way. I was like, okay. Yeah, no, I didn't have the best parenting in my life. Like for my okay. parents, so I always feel like things that I missed out on, or things I was stressed about when I was young. I was like fourteen, stressed about money. Why do you want money at fourteen? Not me. Did you? Did really? you say? Did you say like? Um, since I didn't have this. They're gonna have this, like talking about your your seed, like your child. I, you know what, Lionel? I feel like I never ever. I don't know about you, but I feel like I do a lot of winging in life. Yeah. So I never made a goal of what I want to do for my child. I just know in the moment, I'm like, how would I have felt when I was that age? I, yeah. I don't have to worry about that. I'm yeah, gonna go ahead yeah, and do yeah. that. Yeah. That's so, that's pretty. I think that's yeah. Kinda, and that's kind of like I, how life goes. I you just winging like. it, right? Yeah. And yeah. I just feel like. I always hear people say they had goals. Like, when I'm 20, I'm going to do this. When I'm 30, I'm going to do this. By the time I'm 60, I want to have this. I never had that. I literally always just was out here like, I 
think I want this today. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I wish I was the type of person who had like real life goals. I feel like I could have more in life right now. And yeah. I complained to my friend about it the other day, and she was like, "You are wow! Like you did a yeah. whole bunch of shit in life, and you kind of complaining about it." I'm not complaining. But I thought maybe I'm complaining. Because yeah, people right. who don't sometimes do the shit it's okay. I've done. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay to complain sometimes. I think if we if I was content in my life, I wouldn't have what I have. Who you get what I'm saying? I feel like you can kinda get content, then what you do. I think so. And I don't mean yeah. like financially, I mean like just kinda like experiencing love. I guess like the challenging thought. Like knowing that there's a thought now, you're like, wait a minute, that means that you're actually doing good. Cause like you said, you could be content right. to the point where like everything is just borderline. Yes. But now that you're having thoughts that you want better. I you're like better. that means that you're doing better and that's why i think better. that me versus me shit is real let me yes. be like i don't see nobody else i'm not competing with nobody else <laughs> i'm really is on some kanye oh, shit God. it's me versus me and i want to do oh, better God. because yesterday me ain't do what i wanted them to do that reminds me of the new year's uh post with a shorty stepping up into the new year and she got like you know she, you know a book bag about? full no. of like you. you don't know what i'm talking I about I do. <laughs> she had like a book bag and it'll say like um stuff that she's carrying into the new year and it'll be like growth um, oh yeah 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 life, okay yes da, da, da. okay and yes, it's usually yes. the girl <laughs> with the bag on her back and she's yes. stepping into the new year there's <laughs> nothing wrong with that you it have is, to be like look no. that's where i'm going it's my goal but i don't think i set goals enough i think in life we gotta do a better job at for me i have to better job at setting goals like you know, so that's that's a few things I want to do better. I want to be a, a better parent. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's about to own his show too. He said, I ain't wearing this button oh, next year. 2014, Fuck that. 15. But no. Um, so, yeah, I want to do better with like setting goals for myself. Do but you have vision boards? No, I've never had a vision board before. I've dated women who have vision boards and they sometimes we make them together. Really? I, I suck at mine because I'll be. My, do you I really get, follow it? Well, I get distracted fast, so I don't finish it. That's it's probably why. Yeah, you gotta yeah, finish I it. Like I try to. I try. Mom, I, I feel like I, I I don't like the word deserve. Right? I feel like people say like I deserve that. I feel like uh, how, how do you how you deserve something? I feel like anything. Yeah. I, I'm used to working hard for everything I got. Anything I got, I'm gonna work for it. If somebody even put me on a path to it, like that's what makes your heart out. And I'm like, all right, well now I feel like I gotta do the job and like, step up and do everything yeah. else. Yeah. No, kind of I don't feel like oh, thing. I deserve for y'all to do everything for me. I don't feel like yeah. that. So I think when people. I think making the vision board, I feel like, oh, I deserve to get this. And have I don't you ever? Want to do that. Have you ever? So I, I don't really journal a lot. I journal like I try to. I go through phases. Like I might journal for a week, and I found a journal and I read it. it was your journal it you read? Mine. Oh, I was about to be I like, that so. was so inappropriate. <laughs> Who journal you found? No, no, no. I read my own journal. <laughs> but how long ago was it? From 2019. Really? And I was like, this is weird. Like, it's like looking at your old, how you was feeling. I don't, I don't like write journal. People say you should do that when you like stressed out, right? Or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. I be too stressed out. I be when I scribble on the page. I got like, video I journals too. But I have, <laughs> I'm just jerking, I'm drawing. You but said. I feel like I, I do it in my phone. Like I'll write some notes in my phone and yeah. I'll go no, back. I'll be yeah. like, I was a fucking psycho. Why would I write that? Yeah. I, I mean, would, I try, but see, when I, I try to journal my phone, but then I just get off the app and go to another. It goes well. So I start. Like, so I, so I got to write or I got a a folder like in my phone of videos when I talk it out. Yeah. I just put it in a folder. Yeah. See, no, I don't. I don't think I have the patience to journal. I mean, I'll yeah. get upset and shit. I'm not mad at that. I yeah. think uh, I'm like the same way. If I gotta like. I'm just gonna be like, nigga, why am I even complaining about it? Once I get to yes. the point where I'm writing it, I'm gonna just delete it all. I, I feel Once dumb I write for it saying all out loud. I'll just be like, okay, this is dumb. Like, I'm but not. I thought you had best friends. I call my best friend, talk to her about the same shit 12 Vent. times. And yeah. She, and, and just in different forms. I'm like, I know I just I think documentation day, is good. Like, as far as like right now, when you when we record, like, just recording yourself, imagine looking at your videos that you recorded about a moment you was in, hard time or good time, in 15 years, 20 years. That might be hey. a little depressing. I might, or it might cringe. be like, look where I came from. Yeah, that's very yeah. true. That's a good way to look at it. Look at you. Yeah, that's, that's a very shit. positive way to look at it. Because yes. I would look back at my old videos like, what kind of cringe shit? I'm like, why am I wearing it? I wear yeah. all the wrong shit. Yeah. Why am I wearing it like that? Like, all the wrong shit. What was shit. I doing this day? What did I have I for breakfast I was big. that day? I thought I was big. I thought I bigger now. Like, <laughs> no, I, have, I be wearing all the wrong shit. Having a podcast, though, kind of, it gives you like a journal, a permanent journal. Hell yeah. Because yeah. like, Without you even knowing it, because I can go back to episode one, two, or three and be like, what the fuck? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can go back to your old episodes, like, you know, you was in a different moment. Sometimes at that time. people will bring it up to you, too. Like, yeah. at the live show, people will be like, I remember on episode 12, you said this, and then you're going to be like, I did. I said that shit. Yeah, for <laughs> like, real. I did. No, I think that, um, but I always say, like, having a podcast is like therapy for me. Like, literally, I sometimes I'll be going through something and I'll say it and I'll look or listen to it. Like, tomorrow morning, I'll listen to it and shit and be like, mm -hmm. yo, it's really not that deep. Why I care? 
How do you uh, <laughs> how do you reflect on your podcast? For example, I listen to, today. I listened to the whole podcast to find moments, and I was like, "This is I could listen if I wasn't me, I would listen to this." That's what I right. try to like when I listen to it. I definitely try to see like where the points like. How long to talk about something? Because I know my attention span is short, so I can't imagine yeah. who's listening to it who don't know me. Is my voice? Uh, because I, I get into a podcast. You like my if voice? Voice is monotone. It turn you on? I kind of like, like that me. sometimes. Yeah, if you if you if you just like, and then I went to the store. Then yeah. You be like, I can't, I can't. I need some kind of excitement in your voice. Just listen to it, audio. You want to stop it? I need more than that. Like, yeah. I think it, it's <laughs> we don't have a document. We don't got a podcast where we stick on points for. Don't. A long time, so I think it's good for people to pop in and out. Yeah, to listen. My one of my when I first first started, there, I was in school with my friend, and she was like, "We we dropped episode one," and she was like, "Y'all be just be talking about too many different things. Like, what's the topic?" I'm like, "This is not an informative." Yeah, like, this is and there's podcasts. Yeah, there's podcasts. The Discovery that. Channel. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like we gonna talk. We gonna talk about this it's is what the fun. podcast is about. Yeah, you don't come Whatever in here with a, with a shirt on. Just relax. Yeah, it's just know? cool out. Yeah. Speaking of, my week was. The craziest week ever. So I realized that I thought I like was in love, but not in love. I love somebody that I was. I like this person, and I don't like him at all anymore. Oh. And I had to like look back and be like, I really was just smoking dick. Like I was really <laughs> tripping. Like I was tripping. Like no, I was tripping. <laughs> so Lar, I went. I was back. Yep. I was talking to this guy, and I think that well, I do in relationships when I first with someone. The first day he said some shit to me, and I should have known from that first date that this wasn't going to work. Okay. And it was going to okay. be a toxic situation. So the okay. first date, we were talking about something, and I don't know how he brought it up. And I said, I hate when people be looking at bitches or staring when you out with them. He said, what's wrong with staring? I should have left this nigga alone <laughs> immediately when he said jump. that shit. <laughs> that should have been the last fucking date. Because that means you let me know what's up, yeah, right? Yeah, a little bit, So yeah. I was like, I mean, because that's disrespectful and annoying more than anything. Like, why you got to do that? Yeah. So let's fast forward a few months. Right. <laughs> he asked you to go out and watch a game with him on Thursday night. So All I right. said the football game. I like I really like football. Like I'm in, I watch on my son. I listen to the radio in the car. You was <laughs> I love football. Like football my son be hurt. Like mom, I be listening on the radio in the car. I like yeah. I gotta hear it. So we go. We go to see the game. He says. He says. Quote. I'm coming from the gym. Yeah. I got them ball shorts. Don't get dressed up. Cause we together. I don't want to be looking crazy. You know some you mean shit. Don't yeah. get dressed up. You heard that part. Like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. Bet. I put some jeans shirts on, a little crop t-shirt and a bucket hat. I yeah. come out regular. I still look a little cute. You guys like, you mean still you got a little, little cute? Little style but on I it. wasn't like gonna be on some bummy shit. But I come out with them dressed down. We get to the first place, it's like a white spot. It's an outside drawing. We was watching the game. We good. We all on each other, watching the game, having a good time. Aww. So I say, I'm hungry. He like, all right, yeah. we eat. Hop in the car. So you know I live in a little nut ass town. Yeah, okay, call it a town was nut ass Joe. It's not a city. Yeah. Yeah. Town. Everything be closed early. So it's just one spot that's open a little bit later than all the other spots. But this is a spot that people go on dates at, people watch the game at, people go to the bar and chill. It's a little bit of everything. It's not like just a place you just gonna be there eating. Yeah. So I'm thinking, sure, we go there, we go to the bar, <clears throat> watching the second half of the game. Are we eating at the bar? Okay. A shorty walk in, right? I sound like y'all saying shorty. A girl walk in, right? Yeah. Pretty girl, bright ass dress on, dress super sexy, coming to go on a date there. Yeah. So she walked right beside the guy I'm with and, and, and did a bar. And told him, so I guess asking the Barton, like, where I can go, whatever. And he, yeah. like, telling her. So cool. So we both look because she walked in the door, or whatever. She look cute. So I, but I'm back in the game, eating. Yeah. So then she come back over a few minutes later, and I peep in my peripheral that this nigga was staring at her. Women don't miss so what a I fucking do is, thing, yo. What I do is I count to three. One, two, three. That's a long time you staring at somebody. You got to throw some Mississippis in there. Hold on. Fucking Mississippi. <laughs> you got, you got some, three seconds. You got to throw you some Mississippis in there. He had three seconds to hurry and get it out, and come on. Now you just, we already saw both walk in. You got to yeah, look. You see, the, you see that already. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm, he not my nigga, so I ain't going to check him. But I'm like, no, tighten the fuck up. So I turned to him, I look at him like this. He would look like, he, and look, he court. He was slipping. So, so he like this. He looked back away. He, like, yeah. he said, what's up? What's wrong? No, no. Nothing. You got to clean Whatever. that up. You got to clean that up. Check around. He did it two more times when the girl came back around. Same girl? Same girl. Then it's like the, another oh, girl. Oh, this bitch must have been bad as shit, though. Yeah. She was all right. Now she was all right. She was all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gorgeous. <laughs> you talking about? Yeah. So, so, well, so then another girl walked in, right? And you got so now that. I'm on the bar, linked up like this. He got his arm behind me. He leaned back. So the other girl walk in. So now she walking. She walking past me. Different joint. Different joint. 
I see his head go right past me. Look at her. I can see it because I'm like this. I'm you like, can feel him looking through, so through at, you. So look at like this. Like, he like, what's up? He jump, jumpy. What's up? I'm like, I, but I'm not. I'm not going to check you. I'm not going to check you for one. Let me tell you. Let me say this. I'm not going to check you because one, you're a grown ass man. You have to look at this bitch right now. Right now, is that important? Yeah. It, you, it's porn those. It's, it's Instagram. No, it's sometimes it do be like that though. I ain't going for it. Why? Because why this bitch so bad walking past me? Every bitch in the world. Yeah. He just asked me. He just asked me. <laughs> he just said, "Why we don't go out in Philly?" I said, "No." Nah. Cause he not for Philly. I was like, no. Yeah. I'm rather. So you you hype on where I live at or where bitches here? What you gonna do with my bitches in Philly? What you just gonna come out late? It's gonna be crazy. What you bro. gonna do here? Yeah. If I bring you here, yeah, if you yeah. can't even chew, we over here and this is the way it's not as tail. Y'all let it You mean yeah. I can't take you no fucking way, nigga. You embarrassing. First of all, you too old to have to stare. That's you too old. Yeah. Any man know let her walk in your in your peripheral and then you good. And you but turn your head, look at staring. And make if I'm a woman and this happened that happened and when I'm out and somebody on a date, I'm first I'm but I look at her nigga all my dick. That's the first thing I'ma say. <laughs> her yeah. nigga all my play, dick. You gonna play with him a little bit? You gonna walk I, I, I back and forth after that? If, if it happened to me, I was like, "How you doing, sis? You look nice." I always compliment the girl because, nigga, you on my dick. Look at your girlfriend. What you doing? <laughs> I'm a grown ass woman. I'm not gonna be all like, "Yeah, huh?" I look at me. That's that nigga is weird for doing that. Yeah. And then two, you, Joe. you with me? Why are you doing that? Yeah, I and think that's the part. Yeah. I'm trying to build a brand, and I'm gonna be around a lot of people. You about to, they about to bring you around people? Did you you can't keep your eyes to yourself. Cool yeah. the fuck out. Yeah, I can't hear you. Was too amped. Look, yes. staring. You, you can't look. Some, and I, I'm, not, I'm not hating. Bitches, the girls are beautiful, 100. But this, listen, we, where we was at, they was all right. Yeah, they that was like that. Not to be all like that's going crazy over. Yeah. Not like that. You had guaranteed pussy. You had to go home with you. You gonna fucking do all that? They that's weird to me. Then they lost it. Now so, but listen, it only got worse. So I, I, I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna trick with you at my nigga. And that's another thing. Girls looking at me like her nigga on me, and I'm like, this ain't even my nigga. I'm just out with him, and then you got people thinking you my nigga because you, you making me look bad. Making me look absolutely <laughs> horrible. So all right, so then we done. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep up my, you know, personality, you know, whatever. Just trying to chill, talk about the game, whatever. He like, I'm ready to go. My art, right, cool. We get up, we go, and we leave, and we get in the car. We get outside. He can miss other bad bitch walking up, right? <laughs> we just what the fuck? It's a bad bitch festival around here. Where the fuck was it? Where the fuck was that right. coming from? <laughs> she had these like little titty shorts on with this long t-shirt, but she was thick as shit. So you can see her walking legs, thick as shit. Yeah. I'm like, yo, but I'm looking at it too. Whatever. So we get in the car. Yeah. We, we pulling off. Then he says, you had an attitude tonight. I said, yo. I didn't even say anything tonight. I was quiet because you was dicky in. What was I going to say? <laughs> Absolutely nothing to say to you. I was absolutely fucking quiet. You to join in, he said. So, so, so then he says, uh, "Yeah, but you that can man." I said, "Well, tell me one thing." I said, "I, I had an attitude about." He's like, "You know what you did." Then you know what he do next. The nigga drove up to my car, pulled over, parked, and got the car open my door up to let me out. I said, mm. oh. "Oh, he ended the date." So I said, uh, "Wait, let me just make sure we clear." He put the stop on the clock. I make sure we clear. He you put me out your car, right? He yeah. said, "Who you got attitude?" And I'm like. Oh, guilty niggas do guilty shit like this. Pull up yeah, and try to cut the night short because yeah. you afraid who be what I'm gonna say next. He cut the night short so he could go back to where the. Where the oh, <laughs> he went he right back. Like, I don't want to see you no more for the rest of the night. He seen where they was at already. <laughs> He's like they in this day over here. Oh, oh, I want to go over here. He didn't know. He didn't know though because he gonna he go back go. and they gonna be like. You look Man. better with me, nigga. They wouldn't pay you no money. You ain't with me. Like, nigga, you, <laughs> you ain't getting none of them bitches. You, they, even, they even yeah. looked at you twice because he was let, they looked at you because you was with me. Niggas is crazy. But this is why you don't listen to niggas for so many reasons, right? Yeah. The first thing he, I went wrong with listening to nigga, he said, don't get dressed up. You playing with me because I came with some <laughs> chill shit <laughs> and you was on some nut shit. Yes. You played. You played in my face. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And he I let you play in my face. He set you up for, for it, for fucking sure. failure. He did. And I let him play in my face because he's not my nigga, so I wasn't be sitting there arguing like, you, what you looking at? Who gonna do all that line? It was too Nobody. much. Nobody. So that's, that's, that's my issue. So, so, so many things. Don't date. Don't go on dates that you're gonna be like pretty people at. Go oh, on to the ugly dates. Some ugly to motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be some singer citizens. Yeah. You ain't know playground. though. Yeah, you ain't know. You just like, was... But you know something? I've been in relationships, and all my all the niggas I've been with, my ex on it, they know how to control themselves. 
Because yeah. you know why? Because they get bitches. But when niggas don't get bitches, they be thirsty as shit, watching every bitch that walk by. It's porn those is free. You gotta yeah. get a bitch walk by. You bitch all asking for a teaser for How old are you? Was he following them with his head? Yes. Yeah, that's he was behind, crazy. I yelled loud, sorry. Yes. <laughs> he, no, was behind my, he was behind crazy. my head like, like this, looking. That's thirsty, desperate shit. And I don't care what nobody says. No woman likes no thirsty, desperate ass nigga. That's not going to be like, he on me. They never going to look at you like that. Yeah. They're like, he is thirsty. Yeah. It's too much. It's Instagram. It's too much free. She go on Twitter and look at pussy and ass all day long. If you have, you're over 30 years old and you can't chill. What the, and then let's just say the ultimate concern is... If you're acting like this when I'm right here, what the fuck you was going to do if I wasn't? Turn it the fuck up. <laughs> you behind, don't go behind He's going there. crazy. He's turning into oh, a Looney Tunes rock. character. He, <laughs> <laughs> eyes popping all out his head. Like, nigga, what are you doing? Chill out. Like, That's too much. You went, Would you do that, Lionel? Would you do all that? No. Nah, I wouldn't do that. I, I usually, I'll tell you, my, my move is to look in the direction that they're walking that's into. That's it. And that's it. After that, once they pass that part where I'm looking, I, I can't. Because once you start following with your eyes, you a nut ass nigga. You a nut ass nigga. Especially if you were the shorty. Like, you you going crazy. I'm what not talking. What that ass going to say? Because Larry, he going to say he could do it. What you going to do? Said, Sometimes the ass catch you off guard. I'm just, I'm How many game. asses have you seen you have to look, though? Like, but you asses, have to touch but your asses, head. Asses, How many asses I'm always, in the world? I, I, I always like looking we at ass We in BBL season. What the fuck you mean? It's everybody asses big. No, bitches be bad, dog. They can be bad all they want. And I ain't gonna look while I'm on a date. That's, that's, that's crazy. You can't control it. That's but I know how to. Crazy. I know how to look without looking. I'm that's looking. all I'm saying. Control your look. You, you just can't turn. You can't turn your head. I'm ne- so imagine, imagine I'm on a date with one of y'all, and we in there chilling, and you talking to me. I'm like this. Looking at a nigga, I'm gonna be like, that's that is crazy. Nah, that's what you that. okay. be like, yo, that's what is happening? If I'm sitting here and you sitting here and she coming this way, I could see her from right here. That's all I'm saying. But I'm not turning my head though. When she, when I'm girl, gonna be like, what you see? What's what's what what that? <laughs> that's how I'm gonna be like, what was that? What you see? What do you see? Listen, and I and I really, I was like, I'm not checking him because that's not my man. But like, that was a lot, y'all. Don't. No. Nah, if I'm giving you my time, if I'm giving you my time yes. as a person, a human being. Oh, respect me. That's a little I, crazy. I like that nigga. Like, no. That was like, we was absolutely like, we'll stop talking for a few days sometimes. Or we yeah. can be like, uh, take a break. I will never in life. Because I feel like when you kind of date uh, below your. Oh, you start going. <laughs> Talk about that. But when you, when you date yes. below your standards. Yes. yes. And you give niggas a chance. They think they up on your level and do shit like that. And you be like, man, I got to let you know, stop playing with me. Yeah. Because what the fuck? Yeah, like, you, no. see, you see why he's on that level now. I see why that you yeah. won't be by yourself. Yeah. That's wild. How do you feel about, like, reading flags? Like, did that, did that teach you a thing about, like, reading flags? Because I think we often get a red flag or a yellow flag or whatever, and we just, like, bypass it. But I think when you like somebody, you're willing to ignore any kind of, like you said, yellow or red flag. You're like, uh... Maybe it's just how they are. Maybe I tell you what I like or don't like. Maybe if you like me enough, you'll change it for me. Right. You know, like if right. I if I if you tell me you hate that I'm always late, like Lara always complains to me about my, about me being late. I try I try to too. fix it if I like you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I'd be like, yeah. no, I don't want to be late because I like him. I don't complain about that. Yeah. So I feel like I think when you meet somebody, you feel like you want to do better for them. But these niggas, yo. Let's talk about giving the 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 the. the I don't like using the word ugly. But giving a nigga that you're not traditionally attracted to a chance, and you still you. fuck it up. He's saying uh, no. giving ugly niggas a chance, <laughs> but in a, in a better where, way. I said no, it. for real. Like giving niggas, like you said, but no below my standards a chance. Yeah. It gets you here because what happens is it makes that nigga think that he's deserving of your time because you're like, I'm just gonna switch up what I'm doing. You know, my first day was like date older men. This is the first older man I ever dated in my entire life. Oh, What's he's that? older. He's older. Oh no, he's way older than me. Uh, older than me. Oh no! That's, you too old to be acting oh, like you no. never saw an ass before. Like how the fuck asses down? Yeah, in, the yes, in decades, in decades, nigga, cool out. <laughs> but they be the ones. Old niggas be thirsty. I remember I, I told y'all a long time ago. Old niggas' dicks always wet because they thirsty <laughs> ass niggas. <laughs> I'm not lying. They pull that dick out. It be always a little moist, like because they just be thirsty as shit. A little moist is crazy. They be thirsty as shit. But this is the reason why I say I'm gonna stick with what I stick with. I always did the younger guys. Young guys got it together. They know how not to look. They're not thirsty. They gonna get if anything. They got for bitches. They're not about to be sitting here gawking over any bitch that walk by. Yeah. That Speaking makes of, sense. Yeah. I remember a long time ago, my ex had told me he cheated on me. Mm-hmm. Me and him was so close that he couldn't keep secrets from me. Like he'll do something, he'll be home like this, looking at me. I'm like, what's wrong? He'll be like, I gotta tell you something. 
And I'd be like, <laughs> what happened? I'm gonna hit the lottery. Uh-huh. What happened? Yeah. Last night I had a threesome. I'm like, not what even the close fuck? to not even close yeah. to the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people he hit the lottery. Literally, he, 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 hit it. he did. Hit I it. get nothing from it. <laughs> and he he told me one time he had, had a threesome or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And this is this is a it's a this is a moral to a story, guys. So Tell me I had a threesome. And, of course, you know, we was crying and fighting all that night or whatever. I had to go to work the next day. So I go to work all brokenhearted or whatever. Everybody at the, at the job, like, it's just all oh, my enough, and I'm just, you know, just quiet today. So yeah. you come to the job with some edible, like, uh, fl- the edible flowers. Edible arrangements. Edible arrangements, right? Yeah. He comes to the job with that. So I see him outside. Now, while I used to work at, uh, down near the airport, it was like a big glass window so you could see somebody walking up. Yeah. So me and my coworkers was, was all sitting around, whatever. He walk away like I talk to you for a second. We go outside, but I'm so angry. He ha- he hands me the edible arrangements. I take him, I throw him, then I take him and I kick him, and we on the ground like wrestling. Oh, like, the nigga. you and him? Yes, in front of my job, going oh, crazy. Jesus Christ. So no. everybody looking like, but you know, people see domestic shit, they mind their business. They like, yes, they mind their business. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, nobody yeah. says anything, right? So we yes. actually argue, fight, and now I'm crying and shit. I'm like, just leave him at work. You drawing? He leaves. Yeah. You know what happened? I walk in that door. That was the first time I ever cheated on him. The guy I worked with was like, hey, you, he was drawing or cheating on you and shit. Let's get a drink after work. And mm. I was like, Yo. I was like, okay, but I'm so dumb. I'm not big enough for nothing. He That's never tried to talk Great to me. Move. He never talked to me. He just was like, yeah. let's get a drink. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So I'm out there crying him. Crying. He just cheated on me. And I said, I know. My What's first time I cheating on him. I yeah. messed with him. Because yeah. he, was wa- he was waiting in the fucking dark. Like I'm telling you. Yeah. Sometimes you play the long game. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't know it was like game. guys are sneaky as shit. We I are, don't play the long game no more. I just give up because last you just time, go I, at it? last time I try to play a long game, somebody you know, you got like, y'all still friends. They had babies and married, all type of goofy <laughs> shit. It's like you know what? Long game is crazy. You really love that nigga, huh? <laughs> I kind of waited it out, but damn, like but niggas, they but you can still waiting. wait. You can still wait because a baby <laughs> don't really mean a lot, and a marriage not That's even. Crazy. Steve's still that. Shots at me. You shots no, at me. <laughs> I'm talking about me playing the win, playing the win game. That's no, just because you had a babe with that nigga don't mean she love that nigga for real. I don't think I would do the waiting game. I think if I liked you and you was messing with a girl, and then I felt like you, you would just chalk it. Yeah, you had a babe with her, y'all got married. It's like okay, but I don't be a friend either no more. I, I don't want your number. Yeah, oh, we could be cool. Me. We could be cool. I don't be cool with you. No, you should know I loved you and you went mess with her. <laughs> Absolutely not. Like no, you but that that was a thing for me. Like talking to guys and then. I that's mean, what that's niggas be. My, that's oh. going through some shit in front of my, you know, my coworkers, and he really swooped in and I talk about it. um, what was we talking about about the fucking how the how niggas be flirting? We talked about it on the pod when the motherfucker said you gonna get me in trouble. Oh, to you, oh yeah, to a chick. Is yeah. That, and this might say I had a dream about you last night. Ooh. Oh, those two things, you know, you better give him some pussy. Oh, you know, they really? want to fuck you. I had a dream yes. about you last night. Is what's you going to work and tell your coworkers like that? Like, yo, I had a dream about you last night. And like, what happened? You like, I can't even tell you. You uh, already know. Like, yeah, they trying juicy. to give you some. True. If a girl tell you that, she want to fuck. She want to fuck. True, that is yes. That's how it goes. Because now he going back to his man's like, bro. She had a dream about yeah. me, bro. What that mean, bro? And then his homie's like. She fucked you, bro, yeah. in the dream. I'm telling you, bro, she fucked you. Like, friends, I'm like, yeah, up. I'm right, like, right. They, they yes. take it to another level. Yes. Like, <laughs> no, if I tell you that, level. I'm really, like, trying to get some ah, pussy. That's, that's game. Yes. Damn, damn. that's game. I ain't yeah. know. I ain't even thinking about the, uh, you get me in trouble, Joe, now. That's you a bar, though. That's, that's a, it's a bar. You get me in trouble, because then you're going to be like, let me get you in trouble then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quite literally. Let's go. Like, <laughs> That, that's how I know with my friends. You know how you be in relationships with people back and forth, y'all breaking up, making up. Mm-hmm. When my girlfriend start rooting for that nigga, I know I'm done with him. Because you know how you got that guy, you mess with my friends and be like, is she a good guy? It's probably you. Because your friends do that show all the time. Yeah. But my friend be like, oh yeah, bitch, that's too much. That's how I know, oh yeah, it's done. Yeah. Because they oh, did well, like the you. Minute they, the minute they go like, me, yeah, no, it's not. That, that was too much. We done. Yeah. Because I, I yeah, do that done. with my friends. I be like, bro, just. Give her another chance. Like, give her another. I do that a lot. Give who another yeah. chance? Anybody. Any, any any shorty, like, that toxic relationships, you kind of date somebody for a week and you don't. Yo, it's calling your friends, complain about them. Like, yeah, yo, like, what yo, you they fucking did. They just did some dumb shit. They didn't yes. respond to my text in 40 seconds. And you your friends like, be like, like maybe it's you. Yeah, like. Why are you doing a lot? And when they stop the, rooting for them, you yeah. be like. Yep, that's But you fact. know what? It's fall. I'm at your all energy now. A nigga out here looking at bitches. I'm out here looking at niggas. I'm drawing. You should have looked at the first Yo, don't turn your neck on the gate. I should have been out the window like this. Yo. Yo, yeah. Yo, yeah. <laughs> literally. Literally. Oh, nigga. pull over real quick. Yo, my He would have told all his niggas about you. He'd have been like, bro, literally. she a fucking bird. And, 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 and you know, he probably was like, she was tripping. She was drawing. Niggas like to hype shit up. The Why minute, men do that? What? Because I know y'all had lying to his friends. Because we, 
We tell stories a lot. Like, people think that women got good stories. We tell our niggas crazier stories. Like, in a more exaggerated way. I'm sure. Yeah. He probably was like, this bitch came in there. But, though, she was the baddest bitch. I, in the I world. Didn't, I didn't even look that long. I turned my hand and she was on me. Like, no. Yeah, he, pipe, he piped that story up. Sure. And that day, he seen Meg the Stallion. He seen <laughs> Cardi B. He seen all of the baddest. Like, and I'm it really was Mama D, Scrappy Mom. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like, what, and they wasn't even like that. Niggas, yeah, niggas would like, pipe a story up. Like, how the fuck down? But I, I realized that no matter what age... If you was a thirsty nigga when you was 12, you were a thirsty nigga when you 50. Uh, I feel like men don't mature. I think how yeah. you how you started liking bitches is how you going to die liking bitches. Thirsty you as think fuck. so? I'll be off shit. Like, I, I, <laughs> I'm I, so scared to be thirsty. I don't like rejection. So, like, I always was like, if I get an inkling that you ain't kind of fucking with it, I'm like, all right, say less. Like, I'm, you Girls mean? like a nut-ass quiet nigga. I love guys that be quiet and shit. I love guys that don't say that. I'm like, yeah, I got no fucking weirdo. But then somehow I end up trying to give him some coochie. I don't know. Who you talking I, to I don't you? Know. <laughs> I like a little quiet weird ass nigga. You know the little drawn weird ass nigga that be quiet. Y'all know him. He don't be saying shit. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. My ex was like that he was quiet as shit and he would never say nothing. But stop I just like stop talking with my man. Yo. I was like, "Where he hiding?" Stop talking with my man. He's so jealous. You know what I'm saying, stop talking with my man. Oh, can't, you can't take him. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You can't take him. But, but um, you know. what, so yeah, uh, well, on the on the internet they was talking about how single men flirt, and that was a funny tweet of last week, and I wanted to kind of dig it deeper into that. About, so, so how do about to get me but in they, they, no, they said, but then they flipped it to how single women flirt. Yeah, that's what I want to. That's what I would like to know. Oh, I mean, whether I, whether DM or in person. I have so much. I, you know what? DMs make it easy to flirt with a man that you feel like you would never. You're not sure if they're gonna catch it or not. Like sometimes I want to flirt with somebody, but I don't know if they like don't want to cross the line with me because I might be friends with. His so old so. girlfriend or some shit or somebody yeah, he know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure if he, if he looking at me like, no, I can never date each because of whatever. So the stories, they say something crazy or something regular, you can be cracking up. Oh, my God, you're so fucking funny. Yeah. I tell me he's so fucking funny, he's not funny. Uh, but I'd like to say it. I want you to feel good. I want to I help you up. I'm here to support you. Yeah. So that's that's like a, something I enjoy doing. Is that, that's like your, that's, that's your one hit a quitter or what do you got like a haymaker i don't think i like to keep going in i think that like i that i'm open the door for you you better come at correct and then if you come at correct then cool yeah. but if you just be like lol i hit a lol as, as nigga <laughs> like don't lol me or don't just love it lol is crazy why do people yeah. just love it yeah, yeah like yeah, don't yeah. i feel like if you just love it that means you don't care what i'm talking about i'm trying to egg you on a little bit more no, no. I need, I need to see more. Just a tap. I need you. To be, I need you to at least put the. Listen, you know how you can heart, you can uh, harder, or you can hold it and, and put the like laugh emoji yeah, on like top put of it. An actual emoji I would you put an actual type of actual laugh emoji. Then I know you kind of interested a little bit. Yeah, I don't like Maybe thumbs not. up emoji. We always say we hate that shit. That shit pissed me off. The don't thumbs, thumbs up, up me. Emoji? Yeah. But then I people in like the clients I've been working with, they use it, and I'm like, this is just some regular shit. But I just Corporate feel like, is okay to thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like you're trying to cut the conversation short because you're busy. Are we talking about reacting to a message or a text DM? Text message. Text. Oh. And, and I love it, though. I don't, I don't think you can thumbs up. my DM yeah. either. Oh. Don't, 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 don't thumbs up nothing I do. Respond. Okay. Use your words. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm about to start yeah. sending this. A picture of my thing. I hate that because <laughs> I, I don't like when it's darker. Like it, like what? what why you? Why did it match your skin tone? Oh, oh. yeah, I, I don't like that. Oh, yeah. I do not like that either. Match your skin tone. I don't like that either. You know, you know, you know the emoji. I, I'm about to be mean, y'all. It's an emoji on there. It's a lady, and she's super like. It's like a black shit. They like the blackest emoji you can yeah, find the with real one, big yeah. eyes on it. You never saw I don't know that shit. I always like a coon. I'd be like, why would they pick this emoji? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know what? You know what happens? Yes. My son sent it to me. I be like, I'm gonna fuck you up. Why he sent it? He to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, asshole. <laughs> yeah, asshole. I'm TK man, you fucking asshole. But shit like that, like you know what I'm yes. saying, like make make sure you're a fucking emoji match. Don't have, don't give me no, no. Yo, a shirty, do I had a shirty. She she was bad too. Like she was bad as shit. And one time she replied to one of the things that I was doing. Did you know the shrugging emoji? I hate that. She sent a guy shrugging. What? And I said, it threw me off Who's so much. I, it threw me off so much that I was like, yo, it's something wrong with your phone. Like, your <laughs> phone is broke. Why would she send me a guy? It wasn't even her skin tone. It was the yellow guy. I'm she like, you just doing anything. You're just sending the yellow guy now. Like, Why did she unsend it? I don't. Let me tell you something. 
it can be a beautiful ass person. They do some nut ass shit. I don't like him no more. Yeah. I don't care how beautiful you are. I'm cool off you. Thing. Yeah, you yes. be like, why you just do that? Like you said, send that weird ass emoji or saying something real weird. Yes. Like writing out yeah I mean. I don't like that. Yeah, don't write me, that out. Yeah, I mean. But don't text me that. You say it, cool. Don't don't text me that. Are those just that are those little. just vocal words? That's not low. Uh, yeah, I feel like some shit you shouldn't type out. Understood. Like, what is it? Have you ever had that before, um, Lur? What? Where Shorty did something weird? Like in, on, via text? Yeah, that threw you off. That means you not want to do it anymore. Like, you like, okay, I'm out. Somebody that texts me, somebody, if somebody texts me too fast after I don't respond, like as far as like, oh. it'll be like five minutes, ten minutes. Like if somebody asks me a question and Shorty asks me a question and I'll answer in like six minutes. It put They put the, uh, they double tap and hit the exclamation zone. Or the oh, question mark oh, on it, oh, and I'm yeah. like, um, can you yeah. fucking chill? Like, yeah. you chill? I hate that. Question no. marks too fast is crazy. Because now, re- cause now I'm not gonna answer it. Period. Yeah. yeah. You didn't fucked up. So. I don't think I, don't I like, like when a guy responds to me too quickly. Anyway, yeah. if I text yeah. you and you respond like right away, like what? You wasn't busy. But you know, I hate that when guys not busy anyway. So it's like, yeah, don't yeah. respond quickly. Cause that's what your mom do. My mom texts. She texts me right back. I, I feel like she texts me before I even finish saying what I want to say. Yeah. Or if I call my mom, she answers on the first round. I don't answer your phone on the first round. That's a little, like, it, it almost seemed like you was waiting for this yeah, call. Yeah, like, like, hands in your, like the phone's in your hand like in this. the Matrix, like, Hello? why you know I'm about to call yeah, you? Yeah, like, like, cool the fuck out. Yeah, that's a little strange. How I do you feel about, uh, like, guys that, damn, it was right there. I just had it right there on my mind, and well, it should just be going. I'm at the point where now, I'm just like, I just, I think I'm going to have companionship in no relationships. I think I'm I'm not dating no more. I'm Shit not with me on no three. More. Companionship. Companionship. That's Companionship. <laughs> Companionship. 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 Yes. Companionship. <laughs> because companions are, you can be, I think that what's going to work for you is polyamory. You need to be poly. You going to tell me? Pollyanna is like Christmas. What's that? Polyamory. You said polyamory? Poly- Miami. I'm Who's out here in Miami. Polygamy, you said? Polygamy. Polygamy. Polygamy? No. Polyamory. Polyamory having multiple partners. Polyamory. Polyamory. But everybody know about each other. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I think, I think they'd be perfect because I feel like I always say two men, maybe three, make the perfect man. Okay. So when well, one man can't do, you can't put down floors, but the other man can. That like works out. Right. Yeah. One yeah. one person put down floors, another nigga there, can cook. There will be other women, possibly. No. For it's me. My, it's, my, it's me. It's my. Life. Oh no, there. If you if y'all and Polly, I can also have. A, another one. Polygamy? Right well, all of that shit. Polymammy and all <laughs> that. Miami, said. Miami. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think that'd be perfect. I, Cause I feel like, I honestly, so and I'm not joking. you do not care about the other women? No, I don't think I would. Cause I, I, yeah. I feel like these days, men have menstrual periods. I think yes. that men yeah. are really like, it'd be a one week at the month when niggas just go crazy. And I think yeah. that, I think that they need to really make some kind of like, pads for y'all like y'all need to like really tighten up because what the fuck be happening like wh- men used to be like very like um consistent <laughs> niggas not consistent no more like you, you can't because do the, at some point in my life i might be lying to myself right now <laughs> but i felt like <laughs> men used to be consistent okay what happened to it okay you ever hear people say like back in the day kids wasn't that crazy but back in the day kids fight was that crazy they, so they like back in the was. day, men was consistent, but they probably really wasn't consistent. It's yeah, it head. just it, it probably just looked sense. better. Yeah, but they was yeah. probably made it look better. Yes, I don't. Yeah, want, I don't want to be in a relationship no more because I just like niggas just going. I'm always it, it's gonna it's gonna fail me. I it's, do need a companion. Man. Yeah. So so these, with an S. We got to make sure we are. It's the fall coming now. Summer over, and I felt like I dated that guy all summer. I wasted my nice summer summer nights. No, he could have just been your, you know your summer. You he was know, my summer fling. Yeah, he yeah, was cool. He we dated a lot. We went out a lot, had fun together. That's but, cool. You so after this, that's it. Like you. Oh, I'm done with him. If I ever brought him up again, you don't fuck with him again. End of the podcast. You did say that you did not like sassy men, I don't. and I do believe that him opening up the door. Was it just a tad bit sassy? Very Ending sassy. Ending the night early is a little sassy for Very a guy. Sassy. No, it's not. Yes, it, it is. is. Get out my car. No. no and I'm going to do like crazy. this. I, I locked the door. We walked around. I locked the door. I said, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Before I let this door if open If I up, invited you out, if yes. I told you to just come on, put your, put your blue dress like, on. Like, you he mean, said, come outside and be ugly. Get ugly is crazy. Come outside and be ugly and hang out with me. I did all That's the above. Crazy. And then you going to say, <laughs> open the door. And I locked the door. I said, wait, wait, wait. You put me in the car. Yes. 
do want. He, he could have at least been like, do you want some dick before you go home? He could have said, in, yeah, in the mind of voice like that. I that was the least I could do is give you Would some you like meat? to All have right. some sex before I, yeah. you know, make you vacate the premises? But instead, he was like, no, uh-uh. <laughs> he was trying to give me before I got home. That's what he thought was. I was going to be all sexy yeah. about and it, but I didn't even give a fuck. childhood trauma. He got PTSD. He tried to beat you to the rejection. He tried to beat you yes, to the, he did. the abandonment. Remember when Lose you said no. you felt like he didn't really get no your means? Like you could tell he ain't had, shorties. Who if if he, he did? If, if I'm hating on this right. man, y'all. If I'm hating on him, seriously. So he's like me. I'm hating on this man because what sense does it make that I have a child who ain't who ain't that thirsty? Who see girls walking by <laughs> that he not like, like this? Boy, yeah. He's a kid and he can control his shit. Yeah. Like. Yeah. You can't control your shit. That's wild to me. So obviously you get no pussy. Yeah. That's the only one plus one equals no pussy to me. All righty. We're going to get one plus one equals no pussy. I think I like that as a title. We can definitely do that. (laughs) We're going to uh, get into. Isha's tweets. tweets. She didn't tweet at all this week, really, but I'm going to try to get into something. I have a live show coming up September 15th. I work at FA yeah. Live. So you've been yes, busy. So I've been yeah. a little nervous all week long. I've been talking to a lot of nurse every day. It's so day. funny being on the other side of the show. It's amazing. Yes. Are y'all excited for me? I am I very excited. I'm excited. Let me tell you about some things wait. I'm nervous is going to happen. So if I think I say, if I say it out loud, maybe it won't happen. Okay. okay. Fall on stage. I've done that. You fell on stage? I fell up the steps. Lionel also fell on stage. You fell or on you, stage. And you knocked something over too. What? Uh, I did not fall. <laughs> <laughs> I broke a chair on stage. <laughs> Yeah, broke but I was getting on twerked stage. on, so that made it look cooler. And it, it, was, it was like, all right, she, it was she, like, oh, okay. it was in the name yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, and twerking, okay. Cool, I cool, knocked cool. into something. I don't. I did not fall. No. Yeah, but that, she's gonna have heels on, so that's tough. Yeah, I'm gonna try to not fall. That's, that's tough. Something that's suitable though, so it won't be. Yeah. So I'm gonna take my time on stage. I'm, I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid of the crowd not liking me or enjoying me in person. They came for you. That's bullshit. Okay. Yeah, I'm shutting right. that one down automatically. That's they I'm are saying. your, they are your loyal supporters and okay. fans. They came here, they spent their hard-earned money on yes, you. Yes, yes, you're right. They will cheer for you. Yes, they're you're happy right. to see you. You're they right. just want to see you in all your glory, and you, all you have to do is just deliver. Just, and that's easy. And and that's that's what I was also thinking about. Like, yeah. just being on stage for a set amount of time, keeping people attention all that time. Like, yeah. So that's something I'm, you know, all week long I've been really nervous about that. You know, yeah. and I'm packing up a whole house. Well, you're you're gonna do great. I think Thank it's you. because you are a high energy person. Okay. So it's always there for you. Like I think you're always ready to go. Yeah. Like well, I, I appreciate I having you. my team because you you and Lars gonna be Who there. Who said that I was coming? You and Lars gonna be there. Okay, I'm cool. having my Kim, my my former manager is pop making for this guy. So I love her for that. She said yeah. I'm gonna pop again. She said, "Cause bitch, you need me." I said, "Uh huh, I do." <laughs> I'm and your friend, other friend too. Be there. Oh yeah. So I feel like you, you know. Nick gonna play. She be. Yeah, and he gonna be he on she it. Beat niggas she up. be on it, and then you know, Naeem Ali gonna be there, so it's gonna be so fun. So I think Eric. Naeem missed the uh, picture with Dave Chappelle. Naeem Ali. Oh yeah, you saw that, like no. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's so I like hard. That. I said, I said, oh, now you famous? Um, no, we talking about the host, Naeem Ali. Okay. Yes. Uh, Stormy, <laughs> of, of course. Yes. We'll be there. Mm-hmm. Yes, she's like, my co-host. She's my co-host. She's gonna definitely be there. Uh, it's gonna be a fun night. All right, so, like, where are we going, Larry? You said I didn't tweet this week. <laughs> so y'all, we're gonna get into Aisha's tweets. You be getting me in trouble, Lionel. What are you? It be you somehow. You will start, Whoa. and then be like, "Good job, Lionel." <laughs> Let's go. You. Let's get into Aisha's one <laughs> one tweet this week, maybe. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm single because I think everything's a joke. That was this week. But seriously, I do I do think everything's a joke. Because even when I was going through the situation the other day, like, I didn't get upset. I was yeah. kind of just like, this nigga thirsty Did as you shit. Laugh? I was, it, 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 to myself, I just was like, this is weird as shit. I yeah. was never like mad as shit. I was embarrassed. This is the person that I brought outside with me that night. But are you, do you like let, like when it's all said and done and you're at home and you're like eating your tub of ice cream, do you then go, <laughs> what the fuck be going on? Like, are you, are you like one of those type of people? Yeah, because you know what? I think I laugh at shit because I try to be in their shoes for a moment. And I'm like, yo, they yeah. gotta be crazy. Look at from his side. He look at me. He keep getting caught against somebody. He like, what's uh, on? Yeah. What's going on? That is funny to be like, why are you making this? What, what is high pitch voice come from? Why are you talking like this, nigga? 
What just happened? You heard that joint all summer. So, Why? Yeah, we didn't break this way, this so. is new. So, yeah, I, yeah, I think everything's so funny because, I mean, life is life, and I can't expect too much from nobody, but I laugh at it. <laughs> I'll be seeing tweets like this and be like, shut the fuck up. I used to this. Get you a nigga that could teach you some shit instead of just fucking on you. What if she fucking on me? But you know what? It ain't about what's happening with you. What's happening with, with us? Them. Okay, I okay. Don't want All right. Man, <laughs> I don't want a man that don't don't that don't know shit. Yeah. Like he don't know nothing. Like he'll be like, if I take my car to the dealership and I it's it making a sound, is it? Do I need brakes or struts? If you can't tell me the basic shit, like you might need brakes. I'll be in bitches car like mm, that's not like the the the, the, uh, the motor mount. I'll that, be like, that's so alternate. <laughs> that is so sexy for me to be like, yo, I think that's what's happening. I think I'd be like, I don't know. Oh, it's called AAA. Oh, my God. I might have put myself in, in some trouble this week. What you do? This girl doorknob uh, fell off. You try to fix it? And I, on the way out, I put it back together, and I was like, I got, I think I know what that. <laughs> you try to put it back? I'm talking about something. I think I know what to do with this joint. Uh -huh, I think yep. this, this joint. I don't know what the fuck it means. You better YouTube it. When I walk back the next time, I don't know what, what you the just fuck. Said, what you just say out your mouth? You better YouTube it. Straight like that. You better that. YouTube Literally, it. Literally. I put my mom's, put my mom's salon, bathroom, fix it up for you. I recall that people I'm fixing this toilet. I'm like, nigga. Hey, what I be How? doing? I put the direct label of what I'm fixing. Hey, um, what's the shit that go under the toilet? Yep. On the ground, that's what, literally what I would type into. What's the joint all that connected? Did they go like under that. the toilet? So on the if ground. You, <laughs> if you lift the whole toilet up, it's like a thing that got uh, gel or something that you stick in the ground and you connect it to see? the toilet. I go with the model and all like, I said, how do, you, that stuff, how do you put that Jeez. motherfucker? And then when you fix up and it don't work the first time, you gotta take this shit back off. You gotta take it back apart. But it's, it, I think it's good to learn little shit like that. Yeah. You got yeah. a man that can't tell you the basic shit. You be like. Yeah. And me, I'm handy, so it's a turn off for me because sometimes I'm just giving you a, a, a oop, like, oh, huh, let me hear you say what I got to do, which I probably already know what I got to do, but teach yeah. me something. Yeah. So sometimes I don't want to fuck all the time. Sometimes I just kind of like, teach me something. You going to give him a good hard time if you try? If huh? at least you see him trying, like, you going to give him a hard time? That's it. If you try it, I'm be like, cool. All right. But once I take over, Solid. then oh, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm demasculating you. <laughs> Damn. Demasculating is crazy. You are That's good. That's crazy. We, did, we, did, we done with time? 52. Oh, okay. We 52 for race. World Cafe Live. So please be there. September Who will 15th. be there? I'm going to be there. Stimmy P's going to be there. Yeah. Um, A lot of the podcasts in the neighborhood is stopping by. Yeah, yeah. Tahoe's coming. It'll be a good time. Tahoe TV. Oh, he is so crazy. And yeah. Luna will be there. Oh, that's going to um, be a good Driz is coming. Driz will be there. And Tessa Sharice. So it'll be mm. a lot of good Look fun. Look in the clock there. community. We're going to have, yeah. we'll have some uh, food, drinks, games, giveaways. Um, yeah. Hopefully I find me a man there that ain't looking at everybody. But that's even even here nor there. <laughs> right. um, heart of the week. It is the fall time. Get cute. Get in shape. My birthday coming up in a few months. It's next year, but I still fuck in a few Nigga, months. Nigga, your birthday yeah, is next year. I don't care. Yeah. I will make sure I remind y'all so I get my gifts together now. But I see everybody Friday night. I'm going to see everybody yeah. in, you know, in person Friday night. What y'all wearing? Yeah. Can we match? Just wear the same color. What you all jean, all denim. I'm down with all denim for sure. Everybody you know wear am. denim top, denim, denim Actually, skirt. Yeah, let us know so I can go shopping. I need to get yeah, some clothes. Yeah, let's, let's, let's coordinate. Denim skirt. What do you mean? Yeah, denim skirts. We're going to coordinate. Okay, cool. We'll talk about it. All right. All right, so I love y'all. See y'all next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.